Why, hello there. Oh, I did it, I did it. Okay, that is my new intro. Um, I'm going to do it like Obi-Wan Kenobi whenever he meets somebody. He's like, why, hello there. And it's like cool because I was like, I've always been a big Star Wars fan. So I feel like it's just incorporating my love of Star Wars into my sort of Star Wars YouTube channel. It's not really Star Wars all. It's mostly Lego and art. I do a lot of art and I do a lot of Lego. So that's all it is. Okay. <laughs> so that's why I went, why hello there. So today we are reviewing two sets, two sets, but they go together like PB and J. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Do they though? <laughs> so the first one that we're doing is Yoda's Hut that comes with two minifigures. Yes, I'm including minifigures today. We love including minifigures. I just couldn't, I just found them, so that's good. <laughs> and then we're also reviewing Yoda's Jedi Starfighter that comes with a R two D two. Um, you know that's you know like silvery and really nice printing, and a Yoda with a lightsaber and his starship. So, I'm really excited about this today, and it's very exciting. I actually had to detach this because it was getting in my way. Um, so, let me just click that in. Um, but this is, I'm, this is my second Lego Talks today. So, yeah. I also filmed another video today that's going up on, like, Friday. No, not Friday. Friday next week, yes. It's going up on Friday next week. So, honestly... Yeah, <laughs> it's going up on Friday next week, so look forward to that. It's a stop motion video. It's not an actual stop motion. It's behind the scenes of stop motion, but it's really cool. I haven't filmed the complete thing yet. I'm almost done, so. Okay, because I have some more stuff to film, but I'm really excited about this. Let me just give you Yoda's head. And this is appropriate. This is very appropriate. Starship, Starfighter. And of course, we've got the gray backdrop. I was thinking about getting like a light green one, like a green one, so I could do like green screens, if you know what I mean. Um, might do that. I don't know if I should. Should I? Comment down below. Um, then it'd be like cool to have green screens, I think. So, whatever. Um, so why don't we just get right into the review? I've been talking, rambling for a little bit, so. We better get into it. Let's okay. go. Here it is. I'm trying not to spoil, like, the inside of the set too much. So, I guess we're, like, spoiling too much of it. Right? Right? We are? No. I'm just kidding. Because this would, like, kind of serve as another mini feature if it was in the set, which it isn't. So, here are the two characters we get in this set. We get Yoda, of course, and we get Luke when he's training. So, this is these are two really cool minifigures, in my opinion. My favorite of this bunch is has to be Yoda, because, you know, it's another figure. We've had Luke for so long. Come on, let's just be real, okay? I probably sound like such a jerk. Like, look. One second. This is Luke. X-Wing Luke. I don't think... Have they made an X-Wing Luke yet? Again, see, but... It's nothing new. It's nothing new. We've had Luke for a very long time. Get out of here, X-Wing Luke. Yay. <laughs> um, but here is Luke. He's a great character. I actually really like this hair piece. I haven't had this hair piece yet. And I have actually haven't had a tank top like this. So I've had like one other tank top. And then I also have... The, now we also get this khaki pants. So I'm pretty sure that these khaki pants are like are a new print um i'm not sure about the tank top i'm pretty sure i haven't really looked about it but um for all of this um most of it um the top and the legs are new for me so i'm pretty sure they're new prints because i've got a lot of lego um see as you can see they've got some pockets and some lining that looks like it's like a belt kind of this is a tank top and you can see where it curves in it doesn't really exactly measure up with the arms which is kind of annoying i don't really mind it it's just not ideal okay <laughs> the back they do have printing for the back um they got some back lines and, and like stretch marks and no printing on the back of the legs, which is kind of hard to do now. It, I mean, it's hard to do in general. If they didn't have the holes on the back, like, they couldn't sit. So, I get it. Um, so, you can't really have printing on the back of the legs. I get it. It's fine. Um, also, it's a really nice Lego piece, by the way. And, th and then, by the way, on the back, this is like a force face. And you can see he has, like, a little smirk. But 
it's like when he's doing the force and he's like oh he does come with a lightsaber a blue lightsaber it's like nothing new it is a very metallic hilt i think it's more metallic than the other ones that we used to get in like because all the older ones i have aren't like metallic like this like um this lightsaber hilt so i'm pretty sure it's different so before you guys come at me um, this Yoda actually does have a Dagobah print, a special Dagobah print, but I couldn't find that Yoda, so we're using this different Yoda, a different Yoda. Um, actually, he comes in the Starfighter set. This is an, I've got a million Yoda figures, and I'm really sorry that I couldn't find the Dagobah one. Um, it's kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying. I'm going to be honest. It does have the rubbery head like almost all Yodas do. And it is very squeaky, as you can probably can see. Um, it's got his just his Jedi robe, some tan legs, and you know, just like basically his undersuit that he wears, his cloaks coming down on the side, and then you know his hood. So those are the figures. They're nice figures, and I really love Yoda. Um, thanks to my Yoda obsession, I bought millions of sets now. Like not millions, but like so many sets now that have Yoda in it. I just have Yoda a lot now, so I've got a lot of Yodas. So I think we're gonna get into the build now, and then after this build, we're gonna get into the characters over of the um, Yoda Starfighter right in the corner there, and then we're gonna get into the build of that. So let's okay, get Okay, guys. So this is actually the Yoda's Hut build itself. Sorry, I was doing a little demonstration before. But you can, obviously, it's a really accessible place if you need it to be. So you can, like, move the table if you want. Move it out here. Out here. And it's got a fold-out bed. Really like that feature. You can get to the crate. Here's, like, the little fire pit where you can take the cauldron itself. You can either put it in the fire or you can hang it from, from there. You can hang it. But I kind of lost, like, the string it was attached to. Not a string, but it was, like, a little piece. Here, here's what it looks like when it's crammed together. Like, you know, it's crammed. It's a crammed space to play with. But, you know, we work with it. If you actually look at it from a standpoint, you can see that it's kind of like Yoda. This is like his head. This is like his ears. You know? And, and it's tan. And green. Green. So, I like that. I, I, I just pointed that out because I was like, maybe, maybe they were trying to do that. And I'm like, it might just be me. <laughs> Cause, and as you can see, attention to detail, people. The smoke is actually coming out right above the fire pit. It's great. We have cir we have a circular window. I was about to say circular, circular windows, but we only have one. So that's not really happening. Um, we have this, yo um, this little feature that makes it like a force dump. Um, yeah, like a force jump, so you can just be like, ah! <laughs> and he does a force flip jump. <laughs> um, that's really nice. On the side of here, it's like overgrown. If you do the, if you do this, and you push down here, it's another force jump. They've got really cool force details. I really just like these force jumps. I just think they're so cool. <laughs> Um, overall, this build is really kind of simple. It's really easy to play with. Um, you can be like, Yoda, Yoda, no. Maybe you want to, you know, like, change his outfit to Luke, Return of the Jedi. And he's like, this is my time to go. It just made me. I don't know what he says when he dies. I haven't watched Return of the Jedi in quite a long time. Um, I was watching New Hope yesterday, so... <laughs> I'm a Star Wars fan. <laughs> um, but, like I said, great characters. But this is basically it for the build. On the front, it looks really nice. They have these really cool pieces that they use as little rounding areas. They use this, like a little, it's like a little ottoman, kind of. And then I'm. you can actually connect these to other builds, which I really like. Because you can put a piece there and just go, just like, go cool, cool, click. So, that's really nice. So, I'm actually gonna get into the Jedi Starship, Jedi Starfighter, um, Yoda Starfighter, and we're gonna review the characters. So, the, yeah, let's go. Okay, guys, here it is. Here's the Jedi Starship itself, but we're gonna review that in a little bit. Here are the actual characters themselves. I already kind of gave you a little overview of this one. Still a rubber head. Um, he does... He feels a little more sturdy because he's younger Yoda. I'm... Yeah, he's a younger Yoda. Just got him this year. Um... 
uh, this ship um, is actually kind of old. I just never really got around to building the set, but I did. And I got this as a, like a birthday present. So I really like that. I think I, I th it was either birthday or Christmas. And oh my gosh, um, this is my first R2-D2 that I really like. Okay, I have a problem. <laughs> yay and yay. Okay, We're, we gotta get them out of here. This R2-D2 is so important. He came in the Yoda's Hut set, and I forgot to mention him. So I noticed that while I was setting this one up. He's got this one. I just love it. I just love it so much. It's basically, it's like exactly this R2-D2, but better. Because it's got all this dirt and mud on it, and there's just so much detail. You can tell that he's kind of like chipping. His paint is kind of chipping. I just love this version of R2-D2 so much more than I do um the blank one but this is actually my first r2d2 that is blank actually so it's he's really nice i actually really appreciate this one because i mean it's blank okay i meant to say it's not my first r2d2 okay i'm not that bad of a collector i didn't just start okay, okay where is that other r2d2 i'm gonna like die looking for it because it is Where is it? Oh my god. Okay, but the kind of, if I can't find it, sort of, the point is kind of, the point I'm trying to make, kind of, is that it's a very bland R2-D2. So, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, there it is. This. Okay. <laughs> your Feast your eyes. This is the R2-D2 I was talking about. Why, why don't we compare, shall we? Shall we? Shall we do that? This is my favorite. This is my second favorite. Least favorite. Um, I really do like this R2-D2. It was actually um my second R2-D2 I collected. I got this one for it. This is, like, from an older... This is from an X-Wing set. I got this... I got that set, like, from a... From, um... I got the set, um, when it was older. When it was older, so I got it, like last year sitting on my table and it was really nice when i just woke up one morning i was like wait what is it easter bunny oh my santa <laughs> like but no no uh, uh but um so this is really nice um i like it it's just you can tell how they've updated their prints but these two are not very important as these are the two main characters as you can see this is basically the um this is basically the same r2d2 it is just metallic just like um the dirty one but this one is not dirty so that's basically all i have to say about this this however is so great i love the starship build it closes in on itself and it opens up and like you can like adjust the wings and you can be like this and you can be like whoa so cool you can have them open or you can have them closed like I feel like, which will you do? Like, I never know. I never know which I want to do, so, which makes it really hard for me to display. But it looks super cool. I normally have it closed. See, it's got, like, these little things here where it's like, shoot, shoot, I'm gonna kill ya! <laughs> here, um, in the back, of course, it's got the shooters. Um, like, they have in most sets. Here, they do have, um, well... The R2-D2 pit is what it is. I'm calling it. I'm calling the R2-D2 pit because that's... Okay, well, that's basically what it is. We got that one back in there, another one shot. As you probably heard, it's a really nice ship design. It has a lot of green. There is supposed to be some stickers here, but I lost the stickers for this. So, not well. Not that good. Um, if you open this, though, it is kind of multicolored because as I, this was an old set, the box was open. So, I was like, oh, crap. I'm going to have some lost pieces, which I did end up having, but I mostly had all the pieces it kind of closes in like this which is such a nice design honestly and you can put yoda in here but you do have to have his arm out and his lightsaber to the side but you gotta have both of his arm out his arms out and yeah and it's like that and like that and you can fly around like that this is such a great starship i really do enjoy this actually um but that's basically all I have to say about both of these sets in general. 
um i do really enjoy both of these sets they're very nice they're very well made they're sm just smaller so and they're both have they both incorporate yoda so i was like why not why don't i do that i'm gonna do it <laughs> so we did it and i'm so sorry i didn't include r2d2 messy r2d2 in my first um um camera thing so here it is now guys hope you guys really enjoyed my video and i will see you guys in the next one please vote in the comments below which set you you really want to see next like do you want to see one of my other ships do you want to see central perk do you want to see the party bus do you want to see some castles the hogwarts train any harry potter sets but that's all i really have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye